Hello and thank you for coming today. Last Tech Talk we had some technical difficulties so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to record it in a different format and post it on our YouTube channel but we'll also have the link available on our website. So last Tech Talk was all about formatting in Word and what we had done is we had asked the grantees to submit some formatting issues that grantees have had in the past and things that they want to learn how to format in Word. All of the skills that were submitted are listed here and we're going to go over these in a series of mini recordings of the different skills. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and close that and let's open up Word. I have Word 2016 version and it should look very similar to Word's 2010, 2013, and 2007. So you should be able to follow along fine as long as you have one of those versions. And before I get started is one of the questions that was submitted to me was how do I turn off auto formatting? For example, if I want to use bullets but I don't want to use any of the formatting in there, how do I turn that off? Well, I looked into it and you can turn off auto formatting, however, it's an all or nothing in Word. So if you turn it off for one thing, you turn it off for everything. And the other thing is, is if you, you can't just turn it off for a single document, it turns it off for every single document. And in the discussion forums, they discouraged you doing this, saying oftentimes you can mess up the base template um, document that all Word documents are based on, and then you have to get IT involved and have to get the program reinstalled. And we don't want to encourage you to mess up your Word and to upset IT, so we're not going to show you how to turn off auto formatting. However, we're going to empower you with many other different skills for formatting purposes so that you can go ahead and use those to make your documents look very professional. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank document because we during this session are going to show you how to set up a templated document for your report. Okay, so I have that open and some of the base things you want to set up for your template are the font style, the paragraph style, as well as the margins. And then later on you'll be putting in all of the content and I'll show you how to do that in later sessions. So let's just look at that and one of the first things I like to do is I like to set up the paragraph style. So located on the home tab you have font and paragraph. So under that paragraph, I'm going to click that down arrow. And when I go there, I can change any and every single one of these options you see here. And I have another tab located in this window that I can also change things. So we're only going to concentrate for the purposes of this demonstration under that first one, which is indents and spacing. And I like everything else I see here. However, I don't like that eight points spacing after. So after a return is what it's saying. I want that to be zero for my document and then line spacing. I can leave it as multiple but for my document that I'm showing I want it to be single so in this case I would change it to single but I also have 1.5 double at least exactly in the multiple. So I'm going to go with single. Another option that's located in this window is don't add space between paragraphs of the same style and if this is checked you simply uncheck it. I don't like that to be checked. And then maybe you're thinking well I've seen this before that's what I normally do and then you usually probably just click OK however that doesn't set up the template so since we are setting up a template we're going to go to this option that's called set as default and I'm going to click there and I get another little window up and it says do you want to set the default alignment indentation and spacing of the paragraphs for and then my options are this document only and the other option is all documents based on the normal dot dot m template and that's that template I said that you want to be really careful that you don't mess it up because it's the template that all word documents are based on also because we create many different types of documents for work maybe memos business letters but also reports just to name a few you don't want all of those set up the same way so we're only going to set it up for this document only and I'm go going to go ahead and click OK so I've clicked OK and now if I click that down arrow under paragraph I can see it's all set up and in this case I can click OK or cancel at this point it doesn't matter and then the next thing I'm going to show is font and I'm going to show that one next simply because it's also located on that home tab and I'm going to click that down arrow 
and this one I also have two little tabs I can go between and when I do that I can see that I can change my fonts so the default starting in 2007 for the default font for Word is Calibri and Calibri is great if you're going to view things on like a computer monitor or projected and the reason it's great is because of the science of fonts and in that science of fonts they found that sans serif fonts meaning fonts without the little feet are great and more legible for reading purposes in projected fonts like I said for a monitor or in, even in a PowerPoint presentation. However, we're making a report that's primarily going to be read in printed format. So we want to use a serif font. And a serif font simply means it has the little feet. And probably the serif font you're most familiar with is Times New Roman. So let's choose a serif font for our report. And I can either just click down and pick one. But I know that for mine, I want Callisto. MT. As I start typing it in, it'll pull it up and then I can simply click there and when I did that the preview changed. There's other serif fonts out there like if I choose Cambria I can see there's also little feet there. However I like Callisto for this case so I'm going to choose that one. You can choose whichever one you want as long as it's professional, right? So then I can also change my font style but remember this is changing it for the entire document and it, for the entire document I want it to be defaulted to regular font so I'm going to leave it there and then I have to pick out my font size. I'm happy with the 11 so I'm going to leave that there as well. I also have font color. I can change that. I'm going to leave mine as automatic. However, if I was doing a special announcement and let's say I wanted my logo color, I could choose that. There's underline style but remember that's for the entire document. And then I also have these effects, but I don't want these applied to the entire document either. I don't want every word to have a strike through. The next thing I can do is I'm going to remember that I want this for a template, so I'm going to set as default. And then I'm going to go with this document only and click OK. And now as you can see up here, it's the Callisto MT as the default, and since I didn't change it, meaning I like the 11 point, it stays at 11. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to set up your margins because remember this is setting up the base so that I can put all of my content in here. And the margins are located under the layout tab so I can click on that layout tab and I have margins there. I don't have to worry about orientation because the default in Word is portrait and that's how most documents are viewed and printed in Word. But like I said I want to look at the margins I can click that down arrow. And then I have all of these margins available to me. However, I might not see a margin that I like. So if I don't see one I like, I can go to Custom Margins. And when I open that, a new dialog, Windows dialog box opens up. So I have different tabs there of paper. This is set up if, so let's say I have a legal size paper I want to print on. I can also change the settings for the printer. And then I also have layout. These are other things that I will actually be showing you later in this series. So let's go back to that margins tab. And let's say for the purposes of this, I have a big header and footer I'm going to end up putting in here. So I want to leave one inch at the top and bottom. However, since this is going to be printed, I want to kill the least amount of trees I have to. So I'm going to decrease my font for the purposes of this demonstration to just half an inch. And then, as I said, the default is portrait, and I want that, so I can keep it there. And then, in this case, I don't have to set it as default, because what's different is for the margins, I have this option here that I can choose for whole document or from this point forward. And I'm going to leave it as for the whole document. And then I click OK. And that concludes what we're going to show in this session. Come back for the rest of this series, and we'll show you some really great and powerful advanced formatting skills that you can use for your documents. So thank you for joining us and please come back to the next one that we'll be offering.